Hello, it's Regina. Welcome back to my haunted library. Today I have a book review for a 70s kind of hidden gem called Sweetheart Sweetheart by Bernard Taylor. I have to thank uh, the lovely Alex over at Hey Little Thrifter for recommending this book. She did a lovely review on it, which I will link below. So I feel like I can only add to the praise by saying I really, really enjoyed this book. I found a nice hardback copy on eBay, wasn't expensive, has lovely cover art, as you can see. So this is a lovely kind of quiet burn ghost story about a man who is um, teaching in the United States and he goes to England to visit his twin brother. Now I love stories that have to do with twins, but this isn't exactly like an evil twin. There, there's like hints of this. And I, I, one thing I really liked about the story was how it revealed its secrets very quietly, but kind of like in sudden little bursts. So like you'd be kind of reading along very quietly. It's very nice. And then all of a sudden, boom. So this is about a young teacher named David Warwick, who uh, feels compelled to visit his twin brother, Colin, at his English cottage with his new wife, Helen, who is this artist. Uh, there's this one part I really like. Um, I don't want to give too much away of the plot because I think this, this story really kind of uh, relies on these quiet reveals. But he is um, teaching and, and he's a kind of an unsettled character. He's in his uh, twin brother's shadow. So um, he wants to go visit and he has this uh, girlfriend named Chalet, I think is how you pronounce her name. He's in his classroom and suddenly he gets this like blinding migraine headache that like knocks him to the floor. And later it's revealed that's precisely the moment when his brother is in a car accident. So I really like that. I like that idea of like the psychic twins. I, I've always been um, fascinated by that. In fact, I actually um, made a little short film called The Weirdness, which uh, is along those themes. So uh, maybe I'll link that below too. That's kind of a different part of my uh, creativity. I would really categorize this as like quiet horror. If you're looking for like cheap thrills, you're not gonna find it in this story. It's elegant, it's beautifully written. And um, and it's kind of like, I, I'm just really happy that, that Alex recommended it because I never heard of this author and he's written a few other books. So I was curious about this writer and I did find in my search that Will Erickson, who has a wonderful blog, if, if you're a horror fan, I'm sure you know about it, uh, Too Much Horror Fiction, and he has a, a review of Sweetheart, Sweetheart and some other things about Bernard Taylor. If you don't know Will Erickson, he was um, very much part of Paperbacks from Hell. This is kind of like the, the textbook for um, required reading for horror uh, fans of this kind of ilk. And he wrote the foreword. He uh, was a consultant for a lot of this work. So this is a, uh, a ghost story. And I don't want to give too much of the plot away because it does reveal its secrets uh, very nicely, you know, with little jolts. There's a very creepy character in this named Jean, who is kind of like, um, I thought she was great, like as a character, because she's kind of always there. And uh, David doesn't really know how to get rid of her. And it's kind of like she has a crush on him and then she just goes, goes there and like wants to work at the country cottage. You know, she just wants to show up and wash his dishes and stuff and, and do his laundry. And then when his girlfriend shows up uh, from America, Chalet, all kinds of weird things start happening to her. And you're not really sure what, what the deal is with Jean. And I thought that part of the book was handled really well. It's kind of like a haunt. It's definitely a ghost story. It's like a haunted house a bit too. The countryside, it's very, it feels very English. And I like that about it. If you're looking for a classy, uh, elegant read, I would highly recommend this book. And, um, and I'm going to check out more from Bernard Taylor. So thanks again to Alex from Hello Little Thrifter from, for recommending this. And also please check out Will Erickson's blog. So uh, that's all I have for today. Thanks for stopping by my haunted library and I'll see you soon. Bye.